Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we got the results from the Honey Miner versus Wind Miner versus Nice Hash um, little contest I did. And also it's the intro to win video for Bitcoin Fridays. Be back in a bit. All right, so real quick, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell below. Um, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, and uh, today is the enter to win video. So all you got to do is, along with subscribing and uh, hit that notification bell, is enter your BTC wallet address below, and it's as simple as that. All right, guys? So with that, let's go and uh, let's see who won the little contest. Alright, so uh, I think it was about a week ago I did a little contest between uh, Honey Miner and NiceHash. Um, that video should be popping up here um, in a minute. So what I did was I added now um, Wind Miner to the equation and I ran them for about 14 hours. I, got, I usually get home around 5 and I ran them until about 7 o'clock in the morning the next morning. So here are my results. Now, this is just me and my results here. Uh, they may be different for y'all. I don't know. Um, this laptop's got a 1050 Ti 4 gig and an i7 7700K CPU, which is right here, 1050 Ti and the i7 7700. All right. So at the start, Honey Miner was $0.12. Cents. Um, I starting balance ending balance was 41 cents giving me a profit of 29 cents the displayed per day which all of these usually will show you that was 50 cents on average uh, wind miner was 12 cents beginning balance 34 cents at the end giving me a profit of 22 cents in the 14 hour span uh, the delayed or the uh, displayed per day was 40 cents and finally, nice hash. Uh, of course, ran it for 14 hours. Uh, starting was 41 cents, ending was 62 cents, giving me 21 cents uh, profit. Displayed on average was 42 cents. So for my little 14-hour challenge, Honey Miner was the winner. So we're going to go and check out my actual account on Honey Miner, which is right here. So I give you guys full disclosure. <laughs> Um, my mining got 31 cents plus bonuses of 10 cents giving me about 41 cents and as you can see here through referrals thank you guys who signed up um, I got about one cent so there was no extra money from um, referrals in this equation I actually took that out so the 41 cents there is 31 cents of me mining and 10 cents of the bonuses. I did a little research looking around on how those bonuses work um, and nobody really has an answer. Uh, if any of you guys know, uh, just put that down below. But I know you get experience and you go up different levels and you keep getting bonuses as far as Satoshi's where I got 1,347 in bonuses. For a grand total of 10 cents not a lot but you can see my balance here 42 uh, 42 cents there is my balance as of right now so just for a short um, short little run of 14 hours uh, honey miner was the most profitable because of those little bonuses if you take the bonuses out it would be 19 cents and wind miner looks like it would probably just edge out nice hash but you continue getting those bonuses so i have to include that because you're getting money from it you know how long those bonuses will last how far they keep going up i don't know i guess that would have to be a couple of day maybe like a week uh, run on each of these to see which one um, is more profitable at that point. But for just a short time span, 14 hours, Honey Miner was the winner. So take that with it, what you will. It was really close across the board. 
I mean, one cent between Wind Miner and Ice Hash. If I were to choose between these two, I'd probably choose Wind Miner because you can cash out the different coins. I really like that. Nice Hash, I feel they were still skimming off the top and paying back their, um, you know, previous uh, subscribers, I guess you want to call them, miners, who got hacked before, you know, I believe that was uh, earlier this year or late last year. But Honey Miner is the newest one to this type of uh, type of game, I guess you want to call it. Um, they're still working some bugs out. They're adding coins to mine. They're um, also implementing, um, instead of just cashing out with Bitcoin, their next one is you can actually convert it to Ethereum as well. And then they'll be adding coins down the road, kind of like Windminer does. Um, they're aware of they got some bugs here and there. I think there was some problems. Um, a couple of people commented on the last video that they couldn't get AMD cards up and running. I kind of ran into that myself, but... I think in a couple months when they get the kinks worked out, um, this will probably be better. Definitely the nice hash. And um, I'd have to almost do another video in a couple months to see if they would actually beat out Wind Miner or not. And to see if they're still given their um, bonuses. But I thought I'd do this little video. People are interested in the last one I did. So I did add Wind Miner to see what it would, it would do. And it wasn't too bad. So, like I said, here's my uh, here's my proof here. I'm not trying to, you know, hide anything. Um, mining pool hub, everything's going fine there. I just did cash out uh, my Digibyte and the Electronium. If you saw my last videos, just finally got around to putting those in my wallet, get them off this little display board here. So let's go check out what my rigs have been doing so far this week. Sitting at thirty-one dollars. Four cents total mine this week. Value total value mine since the start six hundred sixteen dollars. Um, I will update these numbers as far as the prices uh, tomorrow night when I finalize the numbers at about ten o'clock. Uh, I know Bitcoin is down again today. It's like seventy six hundred, so I'm sure this total value mine will drop. Um, Two dollars sixty-six cents worth of Digibyte. I stopped mining that. I am now mining Bitcoin Gold again. That is up to $5.49, and I've got Ethereum Classic at $22.06. Um, I'm getting about one and a half Ethereum Classic per week, the second week mining it. So it looks like we're coming pretty close to what we did last week. Um, as far as overall profitability this week, it will be down. Last week we were sitting at $40. This week we're at $31. So by tomorrow night, we should be, it'll be close, but... I did have some internet issues at the house where the internet was down for quite a few hours one of those days. And then, of course, the NVIDIA rig, I was switching between Digibyte and Bitcoin Gold. Um, I may still buy some Digibyte outright just to get a little more in my portfolio. But uh, Bitcoin Gold's going good right now. I don't know how much more I'm going to mine of it. I may pick up a couple more Bitcoin gold, maybe three total or something like that. And then maybe I will uh, stick this rig on uh, Honey Miner and see what that does for a while. Um, Ethereum Classic, I may go. We're sitting at a little over three right now. Um, I'm just about to cash out, which I'll show you right there. 0.96, it cashes out at one. So that should cash out later on today, giving me three total in my uh, wallet. But all in all, still going, still climbing, still going good. Um, yeah, here's the markets real quick. 7606 is Bitcoin, so it is what it is. It drops, it goes up. It's not a too big of a uh, drop from, uh, at least in comparison to when it was down at 5,800. So guys, um, I guess that's it. Be sure to enter your BTC wallet address below. Spread the word if you could. I'd appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button. I'd also appreciate that. Again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um, it'll be $25 worth of Bitcoin given away on Friday. It'll move up from $20 to now $25. All right. So um, with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.